So you need a background for a project and upon googling all you find is this. <laughs> Let's throw these low resolution and windows vista looking backgrounds through the window and make our own modern and animated one in After Effects. This background is heavily inspired by MKBHD. I really like how his backgrounds look so I decided to make something similar. I'm going to create a base version of it first and then show you how to customize it at the end of this video. So to create it, first you need to make a small sphere using the shape tool and place it in a corner. Then go to layer properties and add a repeater. I'll set copies to 35 but feel free to change this number if you want to. Then adjust the position of the repeater so everything fits in our composition. Then add another repeater and change the position from X to Y and set copies to 20. Again adjust the position so everything fits in our comp. Next we need to create our displacement map. So create a new solid and apply the fractal noise effect. Increase the scale to around 6000 and contrast to 200. Then animate the evolution of the fractal noise effect. My comp is 45 seconds long so I'll set mine to 10 rotations. Now add a mosaic effect. And do you remember where we adjusted the amount of ellipses in the repeater settings? Yeah, use these numbers here. So for me that's 35 and 20. Now we need to animate our ellipses. Open up the ellipse properties, adjust the scale if you want to and animate the ellipse going up and down over a course of around 2 seconds. Make sure your animation doesn't go outside of these blocks. Make the keyframes Bezier by pressing F9, Alt click on the stopwatch and write loop out. This will make our animation repeat endlessly. Next let's animate the color. Open up the fill property and add 3 keyframes. Make sure they are synchronized with the position keyframes and change the color. I'll make mine red. The two keyframes at the beginning and end should be the same color, only the middle one should be different. Again press F9 to make these keyframes Bezier and add the loop out expression. Finally you can add the time displacement effect to our shape layer, set the displacement layer to our background and set this option to effects and masks. Create a new solid for our background, disable this blocky mess and you have the base of this background. Next create a new solid and apply the fractal noise effect once more. Set the fractal type to swirly, increase the scale to around 1500 and adjust the brightness to minus 20. Add some blur and animate the evolution for 30 rotations. Then set the shape layer to luma mat. I would also like to add some texture to our background so let's search for the noise alpha effect and set the amount to 15. And that's it! For easy customization you can create an adjustment layer and add the tritone effect. I really like this bluish version but feel free to experiment with the colors. You can also increase or decrease the contrast by applying the levels effect and moving these sliders. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what tutorial you want to see next in the comments below and I suggest you watch this video next.